Wesley in uh, Concord, New Hampshire. Hey, Wesley, what's up? All right, so how are you doing? Happy New Year. Thank you. Back at you. Yes, I have a question. Um, I'm hearing about this war and 800,000 Americans um, out of without without any paycheck. The question I have is, one, the Republicans controlled both houses of Congress and the White House for the last two years. Mm -hmm. If the war was so important, why did it not give Trump the money for the war? That's a very good question, Wesley. And, 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 it, and it raises the question also, was this entire thing a setup? Because, yes, this is my, this is my thinking. If it, they didn't give Trump the money for the war for the last two years, it looks like a setup because it makes no sense. Yeah. They control both houses and the White House, and they never built the war. Yep. So as soon as the Democrats took over power, and then all this uh, started happening. Yeah. So, and we were told that Mexico was going to pay for the war. Secondly, I see that in, in a very short period of time since Trump came to power, all the white supremacists have come out of the woodwork. The question I have is, in heaven, if, we, if there is a heaven, is it possible that when we go to heaven, there will be a separate quarters for the white people and a separate quarters for the colored people? Hmm. Or there will be a separate quarters for the rich the civil quarters for the poor. Yeah. You see, we, if you look, we have so much in America, but if you look just across the border in Mexico and Haiti, people are starving to death. Yeah. The question is, is God to be blamed, or we are to be blamed because we have everything that we need here? Yeah, no, I, I, I'm with you, Wesley, and, and if, you ask, if you're asking that rhetorically, uh, you know, I think it's a, it's a great rhetorical question in as much as, you know, it, it, it points out the, the silliness of the whole thing. If you're asking it theologically, uh, Jesus was pretty unambiguous. He said, rich people can't go to heaven. It's easier for a camel to get through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to go to heaven. Wesley, great stuff. Thank you for the call. Sam in Stockbridge, Georgia. Hey, Sam, what's on your mind? Yeah, hey, man, I've been st listening to the show for about a few months, man. Appreciate it. I have two questions dealing sure. with Christianity. Um, one is dealing with Jerry Falwell because I was reading an article from what he said when an interview on the Washington Post of him. He was saying about, one, that a poor person never gives anybody charity. But then again, Jesus gave poor widows put more than all the others. And another thing, right. he was saying that it's immortal for anyone to not con to condone Trump. Yeah, and I'm just real concerned about it because Jerry Falwell. Because I, while I was in, looking for cool and calm, I'm a Christian like you are as well. I'm more, more central politically wise. I like yeah. to listen multiple sides, critical thinking wise. But I'm, I'm really glad I didn't go to Liberty because of how it's just how it's messed up free speech in a way. Yeah, and like I, and how how is a bad representation of Christianity. Yeah, Sam, my sense of it is that, and this is just purely my own personal opinion, that, that Jerry Falwell is not a Christian, at least not, not a Christian who would be recognized by Jesus or even Paul, um, that, that he's a hypocrite. And, and, and then I, I think he's also in big trouble right now. He, he and his wife were down in Florida at this resort a few years ago, and he met this uh, uh, very young, I think he was 20, 21-year-old pool boy um, that he apparently fell in like with. And uh, within a month or so, he's flying this guy around in his private jet all around the world. He's, he's raised one point something million dollars for him to start a business. The business that he started is, is something that's got to do with a hotel where they rent rooms by the hour and have, have a largely gay clientele. And, you know, I, I think Jerry Falwell has got some splaining to do, you know. And, and uh, I, I, my guess, my sense of it is that he's hanging on to Trump as a way of yeah. uh, you know trying to get trying to get away from this problem that he's facing yeah i understand that but my thing about this is concerning is how can we say christianity in a way because i feel like the original rights corrupted it and there's other there's some good people yeah. there there's this book have you heard of this pastor named john polipo he wrote a book called hope and other superpowers it's a yeah pretty no. good book. i haven't i haven't but you know there's there's a lot of great uh, christian literature out there Sam and and I share your concern as as uh, so, you know I think that Jesus has a lot of really good and important things to say uh, and and so I'm I'm willing to call myself a Christian but Jerry Falwell has got nothing in common with me